This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Monday, November 17th, 2014. So the euro has really recently broken out above some key multi-day range resistance at 125.10, the range resistance over the past uh, week or so, and this has opened the door for a potential retest of the 50-day moving average, which comes in around 126.80. But at the end of the day, the market still remains locked within a well-defined downtrend, and any rallies are seen well-capped in favor of an eventual break back below the 2014 low at 2023.58 and towards the 2012 base at 120.40 further down. Sterling dollar. So cable has broken down below a uh, previous yearly low uh, that it was set on uh, the 15th of October, breaking down the other week and taking this move all the way down towards the into the 155s and towards the next measured move objective at 155. The market has has recently broken down to 55.93. That's the yearly low that was set uh, back on uh, Friday. Um, there is the possibility that we do see a bit of a bounce uh, before we see a uh, move towards 155. Um, but a lower top would be sought out somewhere ahead of or around 159.45 in favor of the next extension towards 155. Um, but there should be some good support that comes in around the 155 area in cable. Dollar yen. Dollar yen is in the process of putting in a bearish outside day after breaking to a yet another fresh 17, uh, fresh seven-year high at 117.05 on Monday. The market, if it closes uh, ne- bearish on the day or with a negative close, and that would mean a close uh, below 116.30 ideally, that would set up a bearish outside day, which means the market had taken out the uh, broken to a fresh high and then taken out the previous daily low, and this could open the onset of a much-needed correction with daily, weekly, and monthly studies well overbought. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss continues lower with the market just over the critical major psychological barrier at 120. A break below 120 would likely open an acceleration to the downside, while back above 120.45 would take some pressure off, and above 120.80 would do a good job of really taking pressure off on the short term basis. Ultimately, though, a break above 121.40, that's the high from the 7th of October, would be required to officially alleviate immediate downside pressures in Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar has broken higher over the past week to trade up on Monday all the way up to 87.95, just shy of 88. Um, The market is looking for a lower top ahead of the next major downside extension below the recent yearly low at 85.41 and towards 84 further down. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD remains constructive with the market locked within an uptrend after breaking to a fresh 2014 high on the 5th of November at 1467. The market is now looking for a higher low somewhere above 1122 in favor of the next upside extension beyond 1467 and into the 117 area. Kiwi dollar. Kiwi has made a nice little rally after breaking to a fresh 2014 low back on the 7th of November at 76.60. The market has traded all the way back up just shy of 80, trading to 79.75, and the market should really remain capped below 80.35 in favor of another lower top and fresh downside extension below 76.60 and towards 74 further down. Only above 80.35 would compromise the outlook. SPX 500. The SPX 500 is in the process of looking to potentially roll over after breaking to yet another record high last week. Uh, the market traded off all the way up to about 2040 ahead of this latest minor pullback. A break and close below 2030 would really be required to uh, get things going to the downside and open the door for a correction down towards at a minimum 2002, which is the low from the 4th of November. So let's see uh, where we close on Monday. If we close below 2030 on Monday, that would do a good job of opening the door for a correction in this market. Gold. Gold is in the process of correcting following its recent breakdown to uh, lows, um, it's four, fresh four year lows at 1131. Um, the market has traded back to the 20 day moving average, which should act as a good uh, resistance point. If we do break above the 20 day, that could open the door for a further upside towards key support, key resistance at 1256, but really only back above 1256 would be required to you know, shift the structure. Um, the market is still favored to the downside with an eventual test of 1100 uh, seen over the coming days and weeks. That's all for today. Have a good one and see you back again on Tuesday.